Right, hello everybody, here we are with the worst possible matchup, Kemri. Um, at least this time we've got some core to take out the uh, Tomb Guardians, maybe. But of course, he's going to have loads of guard and mighty blow himself. So, yeah, he's got four mighty blow. Only one guard. That's good. Actually, I'm having block. In being lucky, as it were, and having block in his tomb guardians is worse than having. <laughs> I think block is worse than having mighty blow guard on them. Um, 12 men. No palm. Lots of skills in his throw rounds. Good. This looks beatable. 731. It looks like he knows how to play Blood Bowl, though. That is unfortunate. That is something you never want to see. An opponent who knows how to play Blood Bowl. Um, yeah, like, obviously, it's great eventually. Like, on three skills, it's incredible. Even on two skills, it's great. But, like, realistically, you, Block doesn't do anything, does it? Whereas Mighty Blow hurts your men, and Guard, uh, guard makes them invincible. Yeah, some of the sacrifice events are very funny, yeah. <laughs> Another year break from BB, that's awesome. That's awesome. I thought about scumming the wizard, I really didn't think about it, Muppet, yeah. Or at least like a babe, right? Because on 150k, if no one dies, you've got extra money, haven't you? I did think about the wizard. Oh, thanks for that, folks. I did think about a wizard. Or a beard. Or an apple. Alright, won the toss. Should get a draw out of this now. Have 11 men to drive with. <laughs> yeah, well. I mean, it's coming 140k is a bit insane, isn't it? But it, you know, it could have worked. Guard there, another player there, blitz him. But is it worth it to take the hit? Probably not. So just might eat both things. Yeah, it's sad, isn't it, Fulf? I guess because they could cheat. Oh, great. Instant. Instant absolute Dyson. <laughs> yeah, <I'm back. laughs> oh, 
Did I say Aardvark? Aardvark. How did I like Total Warhammer? Too early to say Rotten Blood. I was completely confused. All from beginning to end. I did not understand one moment of the of the five hours that I played it. <laughs> there you go. So I mean, like I guess I hated it, but um, <laughs> but I'd really like to keep playing it until I understood it. I'd like to like it. <laughs> For <laughs> was that the stream, was it? I mean, it was very hard. You'd not given anything. No, Cruiser, no. <laughs> Rock hard today, and so was my cock. <laughs> All right, let's get up here. Get up there! A glorious claw, mighty smash. Great. So that's, that's quite good. Get a push here, of course, to keep him in com counter. Oh no, not as good as a push. Yeah, silly me. Oh wow. Outrageous. Okay, well at least no arm break. Good. Wouldn't want to have any fun, would we? <laughs> Sorry, G6. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I'll uh, I guess I'll have to pause. I guess that's what I'll have to do. Pause and then try try to figure out what the hell is going on. <laughs> What's with screening? Um, well, it's so that they couldn't follow up and get on two players. With a with a warrior, so I had to have a bit of space between the two of them, and then it also opens up the possibility of a switchback to the center. Kind of protects the warriors a bit. Like you can't can only get a one D here. Can't, you? can't get a two D. Like having this guy here, he can get a man in to make it a two D. Instant full pause. I don't know one concerned elf. I don't know. Pause chat. Right, he, he just takes he's gonna take away the garden his fucking first knockdown, isn't he? No? Unbelievable, but that does get in the 2D and the what in the way. Oh 
What's with the blitz action? Because he, he got a 2D and he gets to push away him onto him and then uh, gets an extra hit. Dodge and then 2D him. That seems terrible. But stand up and 1D him, that's also terrible. Blitz him and 2D him. And run back to the centre. As horrendous as that is, I think it's the only choice. Need the knockdown though. Of course not. Que faire? Un adversaire cornu lancé à pleine vitesse. Tu vises entre les deux yeux. Right, let's go for the one D. This is fucking horrible, isn't it, Kemri? Kemri are, like, so OP. So OP. I should have just gone guard on that block guy, I guess. Nah, I had to, I had to stabilize you. Fuck off, man. Okay, so two knockdowns until he stuns until he stuns the fucking guard. That seems realistic. How would block help? Thanks to Vange. Block doesn't help at all. Guard would have helped. Then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and. Fucking you can't really that. go guard first though, can you? Reading. Oh well, no point hitting the leader now. <laughs> yeah, the positional the positional game is too much though, isn't it? That's the thing, Saka told. <laughs> Dwarves do it all the time, yes. Yes. Ah right, using the reroll. Hmm. Mm. This is fucking super hard. I fucking hate camera. It's literally too good. Ces joueurs sont tout proche. Le combat paraît inévitable. Allez les gars, tous ensemble.
cherche clairement le corps à corps. Les sorciers appellent ça l'énergie cinétique. Block wouldn't have done any fucking good then, would it? At least these don't want reroll as well. This is fucking rough. Fucking hate Camry. <laughs> Stop being OP, Camry. I can't make any 2 dBs, can I? I haven't got any gang. <laughs> I've got to make some 2 dBs, didn't get removals. Which obviously, you know, you can't For expect to sake, get the removals, Tony. whatever. Stop being shit! But you can need them, <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> otherwise you're gonna get fucked. <laughs> really, the only way to beat Kems is, uh, is Claw Mighty or Claw Pom, the Tim Guardians, and remove one. At least one. If you can't remove at least one, then what do you do? I just bang you down every time. Nothing to it, is there? There's no playing better than four strength five, is there? There's, there's like there's nothing you can do. With elves, dodge around with your edge four and you move seven. Sure. Yeah, Pedro, yeah, I could use the one guard to totally lock him down, yeah. Great advice. As usual. Great advice from Twitch chat. As you would expect. Wish I was in scoring range.
Vas-y, mon gars Mort si l'œil Mon cœur. Il ne fléchit pas Ce joueur est en bien mauvaise posture, et c'est ça qu'on aime voir. Très bon blocage, il s'est révélé payant. Sacré défaite. Maybe I could just concede and save everyone some time. Fucking Camry, man. Oh, I hate Camry. Fucking hate Camry. <laughs> it's so stupid. They're such a shit, stupid team, aren't they? <laughs> They're a bit like Norse. They just fuck you up at low TV. They fuck up bash teams at low TV. And not even all bash teams, most just bad bash teams. I'm gonna find everyone fine, who maybe. plays Norse in real life and just beat them. Be fine, to within inch could have like about life. five guard now. But they're there just to shit on chorfs and chaos. And only at low TV. And then at high TV. I mean they they lose to like elves at all TVs. And then at high TV. They just get smashed to bits by uh, Claw and become useless. And they're not even fun for the people using them as well, because the people using them get fucked by bloody stupid fucking, what's it called? Fucking Decay. Decay makes them absolutely no fun at all to use. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> fucking horrible. Fucking Decay. Just hope I'd go for the, f the old face remove there. That's why I didn't stand him up. I knew he'd go for the massive uh, gang foul, but what can you do? So don't wait, men. So we're going to go for the 1 0 loss here. Interesting strategy. Oh no, I don't like him. <laughs> oh, brilliant, brilliant bad move from him there. Terrible move. Glorious. Oh, yeah. I guess I won him. Oh, right. God. No. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. What a terrible, terrible move. How on earth can I, can I go, go forward there? How do you think I'm going to switch sides over here? Incredible. One, two, three, four, five, GFI. Of course. Of course. He's out of rerolls. So there's a chance. There's a vague chance. <sighs> God.
encore un col. Sans que ça va me plaire. He's not hitting the ball, but he is. I mean, th that's really bad, isn't it? Like, he could dub score here. That's super bad when he's got those two moving six guys. There's no excuse to not move them first. Absolutely no excuse not to move them first. He did have a two D on the ball if he wanted, but if he's not going to take it, you, you've got to move the other guys first, haven't you? Because he could have double scored then. Unfortunately, I've got no men, so I can't do anything. Because you can't play around having no men, can you? There's, there's nothing you can do with the bash team. It's the sad, sad reality of Blood Bowl is the bash is just at the mercy of the dice. At the mercy of teams and dice, basically, isn't it? There's uh, Just is what it is. So, I'm going to probably lose this one. N'es-tu pas nostalgique de la FAE, Bob? Pas des masses, Jim. I didn't need to do the ball, did he? Pas moyen de se jeter dans la foule pour sauver la zone. Fallait demander la permission d'abord. Ah, ces joueurs savent pas leur chance. Dans un pâté en croûte, a plus de chances de s'en tirer! Tiens, ça me donne faim tout ça! Jim, t'aurais pas du pâté! Plus on est fou, plus on rit! L'attaquant bénéficie de soutien! Oh good, fail again. Alright, okay, oh, wonderful. Really loving Blood Bowl now. <laughs> God, right, this is the last game today anyway, fuck it. I'm not gonna play again after this. I was super tired today. I probably shouldn't have streamed at all. Or at least, you know, delayed the, you know, had a late stream. I don't know what's more important. I guess seeing as you're all here, you can, you can tell me. <laughs> Is it better to be on time? With no face cam. And no desire to play a blood ball. <laughs> or be a bit later with face cam. And a better attitude. I mean, for the for the for my results and my team, it's better to have the better attitude, isn't it? Probably better for the stream to have the better attitude, even if it's late. Yeah, a bit late. High quality is more important than consistency, I guess. So. It's annoying that I couldn't even get anyone in range, isn't it? Yeah, not being miserable pretty important, yeah. Oh, that is a good idea, right, yeah. That is a good idea. Si le joueur trébuche hors du terrain, il finira dans les tribunes. Et connaissant les fans de Fair Blood Bowl, ball, ce serait une très mauvaise idée. I feel like consistency is pretty important though, right? Because 
you know, you know that like, well, I mean, I don't know this, but whatever time Coronation speaks on half seven, all the old ladies of England know half seven is Coronation Street time or eight o'clock is EastEnders time or whatever the fuck it is. So I can imagine if you just like, at the end of X Factor, we'll be on again sometime. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be no good, would it? <laughs> they know that you know that it's on at like Saturday at fucking seven o'clock or whatever. I mean, doesn't everyone vlog? Yeah, maybe I should have dodged him away. I think it was more important to dodge the other one. Away. I guess I ended turn, didn't I? I should have maybe dodged him away. But then he just gets mighty blow hit and fouled. I guess he might pull someone anyway. Yeah, no, I haven't watched TV. <laughs> I watched a little bit. I watch, I watch The Apprentice because it's funny, isn't it? And I watch Strictly Come Dancing. <laughs> <laughs> They're the only two shows that I've watched in, in forever. <laughs> And then they even do shows that I like, like Peep Show. And then I don't even watch the fucking next series because it's always shite, isn't it? They always ruin them. I know, Bill Burley. I, th I guess, like, he was quite popular before. Huh? I, he, and he was, he was quite improved, I thought. I thought he improved quite a lot. But he was, he was terrible. He was proper terrible, Bill Bailey. Holy shit. Right, well, so much for the draw, eh? Eight players for the second half. Like, always gonna get outbashed by Camry. Like, it's not surprising to get outbashed by Camry. But, um, would have liked to have scored. Would have liked to have just removed A Tomb Guardian and been able to get any traction on offense. And done anything on offense to get the score. And then, if 1 0 up now, then it's a draw, isn't it? But unfortunately, it's a loss. Yet another loss. Seven wins, three losses. Pretty terrible. As long as no one dies, it's okay, I guess. Can't win them all, can you? Or even most of them, apparently. <laughs> no, 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 seven's winning most of them. <laughs> Hopefully there's some kind of sweet spot where the chaos do well, but I can't see it happening. Because at high TV, you, you know, you come up against better coaches and they can dice you even easier then, can't they? Because they've got claw of their own. I don't know. Would you go on Strictly Come Dancing? If I was a celebrity, yeah, G6. <laughs> I haven't seen Fat and Stream against you. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you can judge how, like, that's the thing. Like, Bill Bailey improved a fair bit, didn't he? That's why, like, Van Outen didn't do very well in it, because although she was incredible, um, everyone knew she'd had all the training, didn't they? You know, and, like, what's it called? Uh, someone was an actual ballerina, weren't they? Who was it? Uh... Debbie McGee was an actual ballerina, like, amazingly. <laughs> amazingly, she was quite good. <laughs> she was quite good at the whole dancing thing. Who, who would have guessed? <laughs> hey! And then they have, like, they have pop stars who've, like, been doing choreography for, like, yeah, as you say, like, a decade or more, even. It seems crazy. Yeah, and they've used a reroll already. I guess they've got sure hands. They're literally more likely to make a pickup than than bash than like other teams. It doesn't make any sense how people say, "Oh, well, the Kemri will just fail to pick up the ball." They're better at picking up the ball than I am. <laughs> the dice can turn, and he can play terrible. It's possible. He's got to start playing a lot worse though. He played he played pretty pretty damn well in the first half.
But he can't protect this Tomb Guardian, so he has fucked it already this half. That was a real bad blitz. He should just blitz with the uh should have just blitz with a block mighty Tomb Guardian. I mean that was really terrible because now he he can't protect his uh his Tomb Guardian. And when I've got fucking nobody to threaten his Tomb Guardian. Like okay, there's less motivation to, to there's less motivation to protect him when there's literally nobody there to threaten him. But still, it's still bad, isn't it? Hey, one down. Right, now why couldn't that have happened on fucking turn one of the first half here? Eh? Why couldn't that have just fucking happened earlier? Might have scored. Might have actually scored if that had happened earlier. But that was his fault. That was his fault that that happened. There was absolutely no reason to expose that character. And he did a really good job of the first half of protecting them. Didn't get many hits on them. But turn two I got a hit, didn't I? That could have been turn two of the first half. And then might have uh, scored. Could still turn him over for the 1 0 win, right? It's possible. It's possible. Full flicky rage, glorious. Hello, table like. Yeah, invisible today. I felt terrible. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have streamed. I shouldn't have streamed, I should have waited until I got got good. But lesson learned. Oh, hey Wanger! Good old skeletons. Wow, get to put everybody again. He's exposed a tomb guardian. He finds a way to to expose a tomb guardian. Incredible. What a badass. It's crazy because he protected them perfectly in the first half. And now he seems determined to expose them. I guess he's up so many, many things he can't lose. <laughs> Which is quite reasonable, I guess. I don't know, the last guy didn't, did he? Do you remember? It was like, it was all nicey nicey, and then he was like, I was like, let me win! And he wouldn't, he wouldn't let me win! <laughs> Right. It's a shame that he got the stun as well to even that. This is obviously horrible one for this poor little beastman here. The old egg for goal. He can just hit him, then he can hit him. Nice, just do that. <laughs> God, I... no. Um, Lupak famously was uh, was losing to somebody in the World Cup qualifiers, and then he begged him to concede, and then the guy did concede. So that was quite nice for him, wasn't it? It's a pretty good strategy, really. You can't. 
<laughs> I mean, well, you can fault them for it, but you can't really fault them for it. <laughs> Welcome to Luli. <laughs> <laughs> mate, mate, mate. <laughs> uh. Oh, no follow up. Interesting. Is he not even going to punch that lad? This lad or two dice, this lad. What's the plimp on blue tactic that I can try, Julia? Oh, surrendering, yeah, of course. <laughs> The old cheeky surrender. I guess there's a chance of a nil nil here. Like not much. Two guys on that one is nice, isn't it? It would have been nice if they'd knock him over, but never mind. Pushing him all over the place here, that's fantastic. It's just what we need to completely end any threat of a touchdown. I mean, he probably should go for a 2-0. <laughs> no, he should, he should expose the ball, shouldn't he? That's what he should do. Expose the ball to 2D. Instant 2D on the ball is the best tactic for him. Also, Lupak would always call out terrible, terrible plays for his opponent to do, and then his opponent would do them. It was crazy. It was crazy how consistent it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was the proper, you know, the fucking don't throw me in the briar patch thing. It was ridiculous. He was like, <laughs> hopefully he doesn't run this guy over here. And then he runs the guy over there. And then he fucking 2 days him and stuff with core bomb. <laughs> what, is, what is wrong with these people? <laughs> Amazing. Fucking Jedi Packy should be called. <laughs> yeah, hopefully he'll expose the ball. And with Chaos, hopefully there's like some kind of stupid play, isn't there, to hit the ball. Like 1D and then 2D or a dodge in a 2D or something. Only gets a push. Pushes him that way instead of forward. <laughs> That's terrible, isn't it? So he's somehow given us a dodge to two dice the ball. I mean, okay, he's got dark blodge, but still. 
How on earth do you push to that square instead of straight forward? Like, how? How can anybody do that? <laughs> like, I just genuinely don't understand how people can do moves like that. That's disappointing. I was going to go there for the chain. Yeah, I can free this guy up. This guy can be freed. moves first. fantastic brilliant so again only needed a push on this block now this was 2d thanks to the guard so we could have pushed him to there pushed him to there and then 2d on the ball but of course a both down into a double skull absolutely fantastic what a way to lose all right maybe you don't need claw mighty to get lucky against people maybe you just need to hope they just completely fuck up and give you the game so maybe block tackle isn't so bad Maybe I was wrong. Maybe the players just never give up and hope that eventually your opponent just fucking spoons and gives you the game. Oh, cyclics. Size six. Whatever. Roll the dwarf next. No. No, I don't think I'm going to do roll the game. <laughs> that was disappointing, that, wasn't it? That could have easily been. Yeah, some kind of elves. At least with elves, you can, you know, you can get banged out and still win. Chaos have got nothing here, have they? You know, like you've got nothing. Oh, Steve, Marty. All right, just do woodies. Turn into Sean. Get a man bun. <laughs> It'll be the smallest one ever, but I can do it. There's actually some hair there. A lot of bald people do it, don't they? A lot of bald people do it, so it looks like they've got more hair than they have because they can grow hair there. <laughs> <laughs> dark elves. Uh, dark elves are substantially worse when there's no um, when there's chores to fuck them. Just got Kemri. At least with Kemri, it feels inevitable. It's not like Norse, where like they've got the most stupid fucking team ever. And they somehow win in the bad matchups. <laughs> like making, using a race that's bad against 90% of ladder. Fucking Norse. And then winning anyway. 
At least Kemri, like, smashed the shit out of Chorfs and Chaos at low TV. They've got something going for them. But goddamn, I hate, I hate fucking Decay. Decay is the worst. The worst fucking skill there is, isn't it? It's terrible. Now end the fucking turn, is it? We need to just kill my guard for no reason. Thanks, buddy. Still haven't moved your ball carriers. So there's still a fucking 2D on the ball. But, you know. A 1D. Move this again. Okay. It's not because of decay, it's because most fucking 90% of the teams... Well, first of all, most games are played with less than five games played. And they're really quite good at bash mirrors in that TV, isn't it? That's the reason. Like, the mean number of games is like three or something that a team plays. So most most games in Clad are low TV. And... Uh, Camry are pretty good in bash moves. And really good in bash dominant in bash moves, in fact. And he can beat elves as well, can't they? Just by just because people will still concede a fair amount with elves. They'll get out bashed and concede. And they they can beat elves, like it's not like they auto lose to elves or anything, is it? Yeah, I guess people aren't, aren't the smartest of it. <laughs> I guess that's a good idea, yeah. That <laughs> decay saves people from themselves, <laughs> is what you're saying. <laughs> Which is fair enough. <laughs> decay is absolute garbage, yeah. But yeah, I guess it protects people from themselves. That's the idea. Oh good, don't get to make any LOS blocks. Two chances to get that pass on him. Both failed. <laughs> oh well. So the record's slightly worse than the one that I deleted. And now I've come around to the block way of thinking a bit. Maybe I shouldn't have gone so many mighty blows. Maybe two mighty blows was the way. Yeah. Like, normally I've done two Mighty Claws. Normally when I've done Chaos, I've brushed two Claw Mighties. So maybe I should have just done that again. Instead of the four Mighties is, is a bit much, to be fair. Not normally what I do. Or five, five Mighties. Normally I'd have just done two Mighties. Um, so yeah, and three losses isn't that bad, is it? It isn't that bad. <laughs> Every match has been a nil that this team has played. Either lost without scoring or won without the opposing score, opposition score. Crazy, eh? Right. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.